Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Wheel of... Last episode, I took a fat L. I took one W, so I got to hang out to a few players that we added, but I took a, like, a fat L. I lost Herschel Walker, and I lost Eric Wood, my center. So honest to God, the team looks so good. Look at defense, bro. Defense is all elite players. Defense is ridiculous. Defense is probably like a 90 or a 91 overall. Yeah, I mean, that's a little too bad. Maybe defense is like 89 overall. Offense looks good with wide receivers. Offensive line needs some serious help, and I'm sick of looking at this fullback. I need Look to get at rid this, of this dude. Guy. I'm just sick of looking at him. He's so ugly. Okay, so you guys know the rules. The wheel, I made the wheel juiced. I mean, we got new Team of the Year stuff is coming out. I know that a Wheel of Mutt dropped after Team of the Year already came out, but that's because I recorded it right before Team of the Year came out. Apologize for that, so I wanted to record this one real quick. Make sure I don't miss too much content. Alrighty, so here's our first wheel spin of the episode. Hopefully we can get something brand new. Give me that offensive bow! Give me the offensive bow! Please keep going. No, oh, we didn't get offensive bow, but we did get Team of the Year offense random pack. So an offensive bow would let me spin this wheel that has like all the- Ah, my phone. Is this still recording? Okay, it's still recording. I thought that was gonna bust my phone. Either way, we get a random team of the year player from offense. Okay, so they only have defensive team of the year packs in the stores right now. So I have to think of another random way to select an offensive team of the year. I think the only fair way to do this is I'm gonna spin the positions wheel. Okay, so I'm just gonna spin this positions wheel. That's gonna determine the team of the year player we get. I don't know how else to do it, and I can get offense or defense in this manner. So we're gonna spin this wheel in this. There is a lot riding on this left outside linebacker, maybe. I don't even know who my left outside linebacker is or a right outside linebacker. Who is the team of the year right outside linebacker? Is it Khalil Mack? No. Nope. Oh my god, okay, wait, it's Levante David. Levante David's like one of my favorite players of all time. I am okay with this, boys. I am not gonna complain about that even a little bit. Oh my god. Levante David and Derek Brooks, the all time Buccaneers god, godly linebacker squad. That is so cool to have. Because I already have Derek Brooks on live. So it looks like we're gonna be moving some linebackers around. Holy shit, team of the year edition. 95 overall Levante. So now I'm gonna move on to the second one and we have to win this game I'm not losing a 95 Levante David. The second one might give us out of position 89 91 I don't know what's after that out of position 89 91 So I get to choose any of the out of position players and I think I have all of them already So I can't take Ladanian Tomlinson middle linebacker or Mike Vick, but I can get anybody else Let's let's assess what the team needs though. So Preston Brown is my other middle linebacker. Preston Brown sucks so I'm tempted to put Levante David at my other middle linebacker. His zone coverage is 92, which means he'd be a really good non-user linebacker, meaning if you just put him here, it'd be really good. Okay, so that moves that there. Derek Brooks is my other user linebacker, and Malcolm Butler is my left outside. Did I just call him Malcolm Butler? Malcolm Smith is my other left outside. You know what I need? I need like a recycle. Recycle old players. You guys are really good at coming up with rules, so if you think of a cool way for me to recycle a player, let me know. And for my out of position, my out of position, I'm gonna make my offensive line not as terrible. Christian Okoye is gonna become my right guard. All right, so on the line today is a 90 overall right guard, which I'm happy with, but more importantly is a 95 Levante David. Holy shit, let's go win a game. Also, I'm level 40 mutt level finally. <laughs> He's got Tom Brady, Todd Gurley, and Kevin Bayard. Am I saying that right yet? And we got a new 95 on our top three. It's Levante David. Duh. Okay, uh, you know what? We're going to hit Barry Sanders underneath. We got to make a move. Good spin, Barry. But that only puts me at fourth and three. Why do I always get a fourth down on every single first drive? I swear this always happens. Oh, he's locking some stuff up in nope. Dwight Clark. He dropped it. That is so lame. Third and 13, we know it's a pass, gentlemen. Let's just be ready for it. Play action, come on, send it over the middle. Send it over the middle! You're joking me! What? I was standing what there the holding Y, you're joking. I cannot believe that just happened. What the heck? Oh my God, this is unreal. This guy is so lucky. All right, dude. All right. That's how it's going to be today, EA. Show blitz. Come up to the line. Fakes it. His quarterback's got it. He throws a pick in the end zone. Take 
Davis to the house. Ronnie Lott. Let's go. Red zone. Pick six. And Tom Brady. Uh oh, uh oh. I can't show both quite yet. Ah, just kidding. Yes, I can. Let's start right now. Uh, cha cha. What goes around comes around. The game equalized itself. I am in a good recording mood right now, boys. Let's let Levante David do his thing, and I'll go on Shazir. Fake handoff. He's going to throw it right here. Oh, wow. That was a great route. Brooks. Brooks. Brooks wants an interception. So, oh, can't believe he got out of that. No, you're kidding. Get out of here. He's switching it up a little bit. He's getting a little spicy with it. Ah! I don't, I have never seen someone connect on so many garbage passes. I would keep running if I was him. Hello. Oh no, the Tom Brady. The Tom Brady sneak. I've come. You know what this is equivalent to? It's like when you're, you're, you guys play high school basketball. Any of you guys are high school or junior high basketball. You know when the team comes out and they shoot like 95% from three point range? And you're down by like 10. You know, you still played good, but they literally hit every single shot. This is what your coach tells you in the locker room. He says, guys, they're just going to start missing, and then we're going to win. Okay? That's what this is. His, his luck's just going to go away. I'm playing better, and I'm going to win. Ooh, I want a little Randall Cunningham scramble action right here. I kind of want to juke this guy out, but I'm just going to go out of bounds. Oh, my God. That's some edge heat coming. I could hit A, but Randall wants this one. Ooh. All I need is a block. Boom. There's our B. Oh, he's almost in for the touchdown, but we still got a ton of yards. That's We're on the five-yard line. And then Barry gets around the edge. He's got a one-on-one -on -one with somebody. We'll hit him with a spin move. Good. Oh, come on. you got to give me a better block than that. Okay, Jet Sweep was not having it. Perfect. Can't get blocked now. Woo. If you get a perfect kick, you cannot be blocked. Fun fact of the day. It's obviously a pass. He wants this over here. Oh, no, and he throws it to that. Dude. How in the heck did Slants just get that? He's going Slants again. He wants this one. Oh my god, that better be a pick. <laughs> Come on, boys. No, that's a 48 yard. That's pretty doable. I don't know how good his kicker is, though. That that might not be the easiest field goal in the world. Oh, and he barely makes it. Okay, it's 10 to 10. We came for a good game, and we're getting it. So he is using his D-tackle, so I, I can see a slip screen being pretty useful here. Oh, he doesn't see it. He does not see it. Barry Sanders has got one block. He's got two blocks and he plays it. Gotta get back to it. I'm gonna send this one to the left side. Cut right, right up the middle, Barry Sanders! This is why we do the run game. And I couldn't make the final juke. Good, oh, I got a lane up the middle with Randall Cunningham, hit the deck, hit the deck! Oh my God, you know what I can do here? I might be able to win this entire game here if I use this clock efficiently. I can be such an ass and I can run this clock and kick the field goal and probably win this game. So I'm obviously gonna get this because there's no one there. That's gonna put me at the two minute warning. Okay, great blocks here on the halfback stretch. Got a juke. I might be able to run this with Randall again. I think I am. Go Randall! And that's the game. That's game over. But I have lost way too many games from not doing this right here. From not taking this kneel, running this clock out and kicking this field goal. I have lost so many games. All right, I gotta get a perfect kick so I don't get blocked here. Perfect, I can't get blocked, thank you. God dang it, I needed that. All right, eight seconds left to not let this guy score. Can we do it? All right, let's do a short sky kick so that a good return man doesn't have this ball. And let's just make sure he doesn't take us to the house. That is, like, exactly what I wanted out of that kick. That is exactly what I wanted out of that kick. Straight up Hail Mary. Nope. And we don't pick it off, and that is the game. Wow. I did not expect that to be that intense. He was an, it was an interesting opponent, I will say that. We barely, barely came away. Clutch defensive stop there at the end, a huge defensive stop. We get the game-winning field goal by running the clock like a bitch. And a W, which keeps Levante David on the team, which I'm really ecstatic about. And I have 18 minutes till my accounting class, which means I will get there on time. Yes. Nerd. I kind of want to do something special for like episode 25 or episode 30 or something. If we ever, if we get to episode 50, we should get to episode 50 before next Madden. All right, guys, we keep Levante Dave. Thanks for watching as always.